Hey everybody! Well, I'm here. Uh, I got a really sweet note today uh, from a YouTuber, John. I'm here, John. I've missed you guys too. It's been about seven weeks since my last video. And uh, so much has happened in that seven weeks. And um, my son came in and he was in here on and off for about six weeks. And uh, he would stay with us for about a week, and then he'd go visit friends, and he was back and forth from D.C. to here, and went to Tennessee, and Roanoke, and he just went to a lot of places to visit friends, because I don't know when he's going to get to come back home. He's in England right now, but uh, he and his girl have plans to spend uh, Christmas in Germany, so... He won't probably be back here for six or nine months. I don't know. It's, it, it may be longer than that. It may not be that long. But we enjoyed him being home. It was so good to see him. And we overate and stayed up too late. And, uh, you know, um, I hadn't started my radiation treatments until after he left. I've had six... <clears throat> I'm back. My camera's bad. The battery's died in my camera. <laughs> But anyway, Joshua was home, and it was so good to see him, and we had fun, and we played poker, uh, penny poker, and uh, uh, he came out the losers. <laughs> James was the winner. <laughs> but we played it over a series of days and weeks, you know. We just kept the game going, and it was really good. <clears throat> so I, saw, I started to tell you about my radiation treatments. I've started taking my radiation treatments. I've had six treatments, like I said, and so far, it's going pretty good, you know. Um, I have to travel 760 miles a week to go over back, over to and from uh, Charleston. It's going to cost us about $125 a week in gas. But it's, it's for 30, uh, 30 treatments. I've got six down, 24 to go. I've not gotten any redness yet, but she told me by the end of the week I probably would after uh, ten, uh, nine or ten treatments, I probably would. But it's going good, and, you know, it is what it is, and, uh, you know, I keep me in your prayers, and um, just take it one day at a time. So far, I'm, I'm getting enough rest to drive over there by myself. Uh, my sister <clears throat> had told me that she was going to help me drive back and forth, but the day before I went to my first treatment, she fell and broke her ankle, her driving ankle. Had to have surgery. She broke her ankle, her right foot. I broke mine on the left. She broke her ankle on the right, and she broke it just like I did on both sides. So she's laid up for a few weeks, and <clears throat> she'll probably get her cast off or whatever is on there. I think it's a half a cast. <clears throat> she's she's bundled up though, you know. By the time I finish my treatment, she should be healed up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, James got his letter saying he got 30 years in the union, <clears throat> which we were so happy it made me cry. You know, he's worked so hard. I don't want to go on about it because I'll start crying. But uh, then about a week later, we got another letter saying the pension fund was in crisis. <laughs> it's not really funny. It's really not funny. James doesn't know what to do. Uh, he doesn't know whether to retire early or to wait till he's 62, which will be in May. But, you know, that 30 years is union time. He's he's worked way more than 30 years. He's worked in dog hose and mud hose, underground, trying to, you know, make a living that wasn't union. But I just have to trust the Lord. I don't know what to say about it. It's just um, that could make, that made me cry too, you know, because, oh, I could say a whole lot about it, but I won't. <laughs> but I just had to try to keep, Try to think positive, and, you know, it'll work out one way or the other. It always does. I mean, it really does. But, um, <clears throat> and I guess the last time I put a, a video up was uh, about Jasper. It's still very hard. It's been uh, about seven weeks, and I miss him so much. So does James. James and I both, uh, it's affected us 
really bad. And I know it's silly for me to cry like this. It's been almost two months, but um, it's hit us a lot harder than what we thought it was going to do, you know. And uh, I don't want to cry about it. It's He was such a good little boy. Mean as a snake, but <laughs> he was our baby, you know. But um, one of these days... Maybe James and not get another animal. I don't know. It's it's so hard to lose them, you know. And of course, people that's went through it, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this week's Halloween, and um, it's supposed to snow this weekend. It's going to get down cold. The last few days has uh, been so warm. It got to 80 degrees today, and. Uh, <laughs> I, it could just stay that way for me until I'm through with these treatments and having to drive and stuff, you know. But it's going to get down cold, and uh, hopefully it won't snow until after I have to quit driving these to Charleston. <laughs> but I wanted to come on and uh, give you all an update. Um, we're doing good. Uh, James is working every day. And, you know, same old, same old, except for me having to go to Charleston. <laughs> but I only got 24 more treatments to go. It's 24 more days, and um, I go five days a week and off on the weekends. And I, I won't be going Thanksgiving Day, but I have to go the day after. But um, y'all keep me in your prayers, and I hope I won't be gone away uh, so long again. I miss you guys. I try to keep up with your videos. I... It's hard to do with me gone five hours a day, five or five and a half hours a day, you know. And um, but I'll just start all over again if I can't keep up with you. <laughs> Y'all take care. This is Melissa reporting from up in the holler. Bye, everybody.